Welcome back to the Back Mat Podcast. Today on episode three, I have with me Vic, Darkman Bree, Kita Zami, and Duo Deca. I don't know if I need to say oh. Duo Deco, but I read the name and I blanked out, so I'm doing it anyway. Um, oh my god. <laughs> going Beautiful. in line. Tell us hey, everyone. About, tell us a little bit about yourself, Vic. Hi guys, my name is Vic. Uh, I'm an asset creator. I'm 25 years old, uh, and I like making stuff. <laughs> okay. All right, Darkman right. Bree, go for it. Oh, I'm Darkman Bree, also known as Dark or just Bree or DMB. Some call me the cheese. I'm I'm from Europe, <laughs> and I'm just here with a lot of Americans right now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you do for the for the community? I listen to them. I change sounds. I ballads, and I just listen to them more. Oh, All right, more. there we go. You're you're very active on the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Duo? So I'm Duo. Uh, I am the support staff team leader for Stylus Studios, and I'm also an asset creator. Um, basically, what I do is I essentially establish sort of the role of the diplomat because of the fact that I have dual roles. So as a result, I actually uh, also handle sort of like inquiries about contributors, you know, people that are interested in wanting to contribute to the game. Uh, I act basically as a gopher between them, um, staff, uh, and the developers. He's got he's got all the power in the world, but he, he doesn't use it. <laughs> <Demon line. laughs> yeah, fear duo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how about all right, Vic? We're gonna go in line again. Every one of you, tell us a little bit about uh, your history with Phantom Forces and what you do for the game and the community and what you, how you got here. So, starting with Vic. <laughs> oh, uh, for me, I think. Let's see, I uh, let's see. I first started playing PF in two thousand and fourteen. I paid 100 Robux to get into the alpha testing. Let's go. Uh, I've been here since before those times in Core 5. Um, what I do, uh, the incentivization for me to make stuff for the game was kind of spontaneous. Because like after a two-year break from the internet, from 2017 to 2019, I came back and I was like, you know what? I want to make stuff. So I started making um, arcade machines. <laughs> oh, kind of a fun fact there. Uh, I started with arcade machines and the Stylus Community Map Creation Project, or the SCMCP, or whatever the heck it was. That's a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I started with... Can you guess what type of map I started with? A casino? An arcade? <laughs> only. Arc an arcade, correct. You know. <laughs> yeah, I started with an arcade. Uh, I had a um, only I had a former. Country. Yeah, he does. Yes. Yeah, which is funny because I was born in Vegas, so I should know how to do yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. A former. I'm a former Vegas boy. Anyway, uh, I started with that. Uh, I got introduced into the asset creation stuff. Uh, they wanted some melee weapons for Independence Day, so I made the hockey stick. Well, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> it it does actually, if you know my lore, because I was also uh, raised in Canada. Ah. Uh, anyway, that, and also there's a good there's also a good hockey team in in Las Vegas. Golden Knights, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be one person that's gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As long as that, as long as that one person gets a shout out, that's all that matters. <laughs> anyway, and... uh, I started with that, and I started working on more, him, more cool stuff, including the Noob Slayer, the Harvester of Souls, uh, the. Oh gosh, I have <laughs> I have a huge list. Sorry, you have you have a lot. Yeah, I I, I made a lot of melee weapons. I'll. And give your editor the photo so you can just put it on the screen. Your editor, you think I have right. I think I make money the editor. Stuff, baby. I'm the editor. <laughs> I don't make money from this. I will give you three dollars. <laughs> don't worry about it. No. Three dollars just... and a dark chocolate orange stick. 
Just just give me the images. I'll, I don't need the money. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Anyway, it'll be right here. Anyway, um, what? but after all that, I made the uh. After that, I learned how to make guns and stuff for State of Anarchy. And then oh. I made the Rex. Wait, what guns do you have? And which been... was which was only a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of neat. I like that Rex rebuttal. It's very nice. I, I don't think there's a single person who hates it. There were so many people complaining, and then all of them used it, and they were like, hey, "Never mind, I forget. It. It's fine." <laughs> the the new we barrel attachments work. make it, it worth it. It's so fun. Indeed. Yeah, especially the Monarch. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. The, the Monarch there. barrel. Yeah. The mo those ones are mostly memes, but I, I have I had a whole thought process behind them. It was quite fun. I mean the monarch <laughs> is super cool. It makes it unique. All right. Indeed. What about what about you, Dark Man? What's your history with fan forces and how'd you get up to here? Alright, so it was around summer twenty sixteen. The game was in beta back then, and my friend basically just like Hey, uh, you want to play this game? I think you might like it. <laughs> so we did. And, well, initially I didn't really get into it. But, yeah, we just played. Oh, we quit. We went on our days, continuing more Apocalypse Rising. But suddenly one day he just got me into it again. He didn't even say what game we're playing. <laughs> he just... And <laughs> he just <laughs> chucked me right back into it. And then... Suddenly, I was hooked. I was like, "Beautiful." Hmm. I actually want to unlock all the guns. Oh man. Oh dear. <laughs> and then he that's never so, emotionally recovered. No, that's that's actually really fun to do. <laughs> yeah. So I just went on, on. I ranked up. I managed to get everything before the beta ended. <laughs> oh jeez. That's oh boy! Wow. And in the meantime, my friend just straight up just didn't play anymore, except for like once a all the year. Victor, <laughs> sit still, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sit, sit still, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> trying. It's hard. V Victor, Victor is like going around, jumping around, and Dude, Duo is just, just blankly just staring into the use, void. Just use your character as your body. Look around and interact with like your eyes. <laughs> Do right, anyways, Don't so after oh, there he is. All right, he's back. <laughs> I got more into the community. I joined he the just... forums. I got really well known on the forums, and eventually the Discord. I've been active a lot in the test place chat, even mm -hmm. though people say it's pretty toxic in there. It's actually not that toxic. It's a lot better than I've... Phantom Forces chat. I find rank honor yeah. a lot more chaotic, to be honest. Mm. I have not been in there since I got 100, and I don't want to. So I think it's around 2021 or 2 that I was like, I want to do something. I want to do something for the game. I I have somewhat of a modeling skill. And suddenly there was an update announced called the War Buns update, which, well, eventually it never came, but I thought it was a good opportunity to find a World War melee. So I went on Google, I typed it in, and the results were not what I was expecting. What I found, did you find? I found images of a Italian World War II melee, which was just a pizza cutter. <laughs> no. no way. No. There's no way that's the origin of the cutter. <laughs> that is really how it there, happened. <laughs> there's no way that's the origin of the cutter. That is uh, that is actually the Dude. origin of the cutter. Dude. I'm gonna have to actually it's use the cutter. It's a beautiful now. story. That's that's gonna be a great fun, great fun fact for for viewers. I'm gonna have to actually. Use the <laughs> yeah. Now. So I made it in studios. I submitted it, and it got accepted. It got thrown in the game, and I got the asset creator role. I decided to get. A few more in, like the fix or what I'm holding right now, and the run thing that I see everywhere. Mm -hmm. That big flaming People swords. love that thing. Yeah, I see it everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I see his face. And what was your most recent contribution? Oh, the most recent contributions is what I'm doing right now, and that is sound making and somewhat balancing. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I'm excited to talk about that later. 
Yeah, so <laughs> the sound stuff started when well, Stylus never really had a long time proper sound guy. So, so you're doing that right now. Yeah, so eventually it there was a lot of guns that just copied the sounds from another gun before and eventually in the test plays when Sid was around, more guns got added, which all copied sound, and then the M17 came, which was just reusing the zip sound. I was like, what? no. No. Oh and I, I just grabbed Audacity. I was like, he, no, I'm going to do something about this. He started his career from pure spite. Out of pure spite. Yeah. <laughs> I, re- I started from recording all the gun sounds from Phantom Forces, which simply OBS. Oh. And just mixing it around, making new sounds out of them, threw them in the game. Eventually, Leo was like, yeah, you can, you can have our actual sounds, our actual high-quality files. <laughs> so I was able to make better sounds now. That's good. And for balancing, it's just simply, I like balancing. That's fair. Mm. And I'm also the only one doing that right now because the other ones don't really want to do it anymore since the recent ADW updates. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. All right. So that that was it for you? Yeah. All right. right. What about you, Duo? Now poor Duo gets to talk. (laughs) Yeah. So I originally started playing this game at... um, during the Rogue One event, for anyone who remembers that, you know, base Luna, Railgun was... 2017. Oh, yeah. You know, all that. So the I game was, like, Pokemon. right out of beta. And shortly after that time, I started to get involved with the wiki. And from there, I started to get more involved with the community. I got accepted to Reddit staff in 2018 um, and eventually game staff in 2019. Uh, as for my contributor side, um, I started in... 2020 with the pocket knife uh which was made entirely in studio uh with some minor edits to it in blender but other than that i had no idea what i was doing uh and it got added into the game i went dormant for a little bit like two years on the contrib side but then i returned and i uh came back with some pretty significant hits such as um a remodel of the flashlight attachment the uh infamous yellow laser attachment uh that <laughs> model on the pistols is me um oh. the band hammer i remodeled the world buster i made the tune blade uh the classic knife as well uh and i also have a gun that is going to be coming soon Ooh. the mod gun though so oh. unfortunately oh. <laughs> God damn it. there is so there's gonna be so many people that go oh <laughs> i've seen it it's very beautiful don't worry about it <laughs> yeah, too bad we can't see it. <laughs> yeah, just wait for like Oscar's short or something. <laughs> I'm gonna hunt you down, do a big it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you guys actually answered uh, like two of my questions with that. I was gonna ask you uh, when you guys started playing and what compelled you to become more than normal members of the community, but that's that's pretty much answered by now. Um. Well, let's I let's let's take the intermission now All right. and then. All right. Time for funny moments. <gasps> Finally. Funny moments. Ah! Yeah. Crazy. So as I was saying before the intermission, how what's the process of becoming a contributor look like? Is it difficult to get that kind of position? It's. Currently, not necessarily. Yes. It's it was <laughs> it, easier back then. It's not yeah. as easy now. Um, the reason being why it was so easy back then is because we had Mar in control. And Mar, if you had something and you sent it to him or you sent it to Shay, and they're like, it looks good, Mar would just take it and add it in the game, no problem. And so that's how we got a bunch of melees in the game. That's and that's also sort of as an explanation for why there's been such a drought. Of melees like the last melee we got in the game for example which was, was the tomb blade that was in april of this year and that's a pretty long time from when the last melee was added 
So the yeah. process well, now was the harvester. Yeah, the process now basically is yeah. So usually they will either contact support or they'll contact through mod mail, and in all these cases, whenever support staff or a Discord moderator you know comes across one of these, I get pinged, and I'm just like, oh great, so now I have to background check these people to make sure they're not crazy because we've already had enough of those people. <laughs> I don't think I need to stress this yeah. enough, and I think everyone in the community knows this. If, if um, you don't if you don't know then, already you don't need to know yeah yeah <laughs> and so i have to then after i realize okay this is all good and even if it's not i will usually relay the information to shay and Lido anyway uh you know for them to look it over and then they'll say you know whether or not it's good enough or you know what we need to do further and i will act on their behalf essentially that's the process now basically okay oh okay. yeah it's a little bit simpler so, than I expected. You need so to become a contributor right now, you have to contact Modmail. It's not something. necessarily contact Modmail, it's just that's the most common way people do it these days. Okay, so you need to spam ping no. You need to reach <laughs> out not, and you not contact you can totally that, contact Shay if or Dev or Shay, you can contact Shay's Shay or Dev or Lido or whoever, or you can contact me. For all you, oh yeah, like yeah. any of us I take will a look work. Too. Yeah, what? we will. We will evaluate things from there. Just, yeah, just make so, sure not to do anything stupid, or you'll be sent to the shadow realm. Oh yeah. Yep. So that that sounds actually pretty cool. Like you just make something cool, you send it in. If you're lucky enough, it, it gets added. Well, yeah, and the thing is, it's a bit more difficult than that, because if it's an asset, for example, which is what most of these contributions are these days, um, is, you know, people making guns, um, you know, that stuff actually gets manually reviewed by Shay, and so Shay might need to make adjustments to it, such as correcting any inaccuracies, making sure proportions are right because he has a high scrutiny for detail, um, which is pretty surprising for a Roblox game. You would think otherwise, but some of these guns, especially the more recent models, they're pretty damn detailed. Yeah. Should we also mention that um, submissions from the weapon labs, like stats, animations, don't really get you contributor? Because that already happened a lot now. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that's more community submissions, and that's more like... Uh, it's it's more just like us trying to slowly get into having more community-based assets rather than just uh, the... better than physically making something for the game. Because mm -hmm. recoil is recoil, and it will probably be overwritten by Lido uh, three months from now, <laughs> or someone else. God, you never know. All right. Well, I think I've asked enough questions this far, so I think it's your turn, country. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> putting you on the spot. Choose your words wisely. Banana bread. I love it. All right. We'll live. <laughs> okay. What um what do you guys personally you guys I mean you guys have made some pretty amazing things for this game but from on like a personal level what do you think is your most rewarding thing that you've made like it could be it could be a map an asset a knife a balance what do you think is the most rewarding or if you think has made the most difference Vic start <laughs> go uh, oh that's so hard that's so hard I'm gonna have to say out of all the melees I've made. The two that stick out to me the most would have to be the Noob Slayer and the Strider. And that is how you pronounce it. Perfect. They're, Pro no, they're it's, pr it's pronounced well. Streiter. It's a German word. And there's I'm a whole American story behind it. I will not explain it. I can try it. Streiter. I mean, Whoa. Streiter. It's is so good. Uh, ihr sprecht ein bisschen Deutsch. I don't Do feel comfortable in this sandwich anymore. <laughs> the Kasi cabin. <laughs> anyway, face the wall. No. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> okay, Bree, go for it. Anyway, Bree, go. <laughs> okay, so out of the three melees, I think my favorite personally is actually the run thing because it it got so popular. I'm yeah. really happy that people enjoy it. As for sound, I'm not sure, but. 
I'm really happy how the MSG ninety one turned out. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Or that how good. accidentally that one was. <laughs> the the nice MSG is really really good. Yeah, I was like, holy crap, that turned out great. <laughs> <laughs> And balancing, balancing, um, I don't really have a favorite in balancing. It usually, usually it just comes and goes. People sometimes just forget if they don't like the gun. But what stands out to me is the rebalance of the E-gun and the coil gun. Okay. Because before they, it used to be like, if you use the base gun, you're dead. It sucks. You mm. have to use the setups or disc or your nets. Mm -hmm. They're but actually now you usable can just, now. Now you can just use it raw, like vanilla. Yeah. Mm. Now the yeah. attachments are actually more optional. Yeah, and absolutely. the cricket secondary is no longer better than the primary. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that tree hitting coil gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you, Duo? So for me, I would definitely say the most rewarding melee for me was my first, which was the pocket knife. Uh, I made a remodel of it at the end of 2022, and on the remodel, um, I included a dedication to my friend Portal, who was a staff member who, unfortunately, due to unforsaken circumstances, passed away. And I dedicated mm. it in his memory. Okay. What about... What about your contribution to the community? Did you do something special for the community as a as a staff? I mean, in terms of being a staff member, I've sort of basically been everywhere. Like, mm. there's hardly any branch that I haven't touched except for main Discord staff. Mm. Okay. It's also, because you also have to remember, like, because I've been here for almost six years at this point as a staff member. So it's like, yeah, it's been it's been quite a while, huh? <laughs> All right, country. Okay. Next topic. So my favorite <laughs> melee, I mean... dude. Oh. The... No, no, no. Do it. Say it. I don't Let's hear one. it. I've never made one. I'm not you good don't enough have at modeling. One? No, I'm no, not I... good enough at modeling to do that. No, I meant like, what's your favorite in one the game? In the oh, oh, in the game. Right now. Come on. Um, Probably um, Karambe. Um, you know, it's honestly, is it? I, I'm a fan of the lightsaber. Is pretty sweet. That is actually pretty neat. I like, yeah, I, like I actually I used to Chosen hate it. Chosen one is when, pretty neat. Yeah, I love. It was the, like the... only a few minutes. I hated it because it really ruins the the immersion. But now there's a lot more fictional melee, yeah, so I, I don't say, mind so it anymore. The, <laughs> the fucking the fucking Fumo and yeah, the zero cutter, the Tanzanite I mean, blade. To be fair, the Fumo has a brick in it. Really? Canonically speaking, is that lore? Yeah, canonically, wait, that, really? Canonically, <laughs> there's a brick in it. That that makes yeah, the only sound no, so much no, more it's sense. It's so funny. No, it's so funny why that's so why that actually is a uh, thing in its description is because um, one of our old administrators, uh, Cry, basically complained about how the hell does a plushie deal any sort of damage, and then we're just like, uh, it has a brick in it, and then. <laughs> that, that stuck. That is that is the perfect cry. I remember that. That is perfect. <laughs> as as for me, for my favorite melee, I'd say a hundred percent the nuke slayer. It's oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> and it, it is getting a remodel. It no, isn't in the main place. game yet, but it's in the test place. Yeah, yeah it's very okay. beautiful. And and also because it's stupidly good when you quick swing it, it's like almost a guaranteed headshot. It's stupid. True. All right. Very true. Since all of you have experience and uh, contribute your stuff, how, do you ever or have you ever felt like pressured by the uh, community or just other people in general to be putting out good stuff? Or do you feel people are pretty chill about it and are just excited to see what you make or are pretty patient? I got bullied for two weeks for trying to make the M60. Oh, what? Well, that uh, that goes straight into it. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> So like okay for context for everyone, I was sick with strep throat and pink eye for the last two weeks while I was modeling the M60, and every day I would wake up to five or six pings about people asking how the M60 progress is going. Oh my god! Which <laughs> most of y'all probably wouldn't be able to see because it's in the suggestions channel, but it took a lot longer than some people might expect to get stuff done when you are currently dying. 
<laughs> you I'm just feeling better <laughs> now. Don't worry. I cannot see or breathe. Give me, give me a second. <laughs> but like some, some of them were the understanding, but some of them were, had like the attention span of a ferret on mm. a double espresso and would forget. Oh. oh and boy. so I just keep getting pings from the same people over and over. Which thank you, by the way, for those people. You know who you are. <laughs> Trick you the first nice off. Ones. Second off, thank you. I love you. You helped me get through it. He should have um, just replied slower now that I'm answering you. Yeah. Probably, yeah. I'm sure um, I'm sure Bree's gonna have a really interesting answer to that question since he does balance. <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's been pretty sure because I'm also praying pretty sure to the community. Like they know I listen to them, so they're actually more shield to me. Okay. They were less shield to Lex because she how do I explain this? Like go on. <laughs> let's just they felt like they got ignored. That's why she they were more tough to Lex. Mm. Uh. But I I go around in multiple chats, even outside the main Discord <laughs> to get more feedback and to talk generally. And it, it kind of helps to see. I can see this perspective from multiple people. But yeah, I also get some harder times. Like, yeah, um, let me think. I, think I had right. something in my head earlier. <laughs> we believe in you. Let me just look up back at the Discord at the, uh, <laughs> the balancing stuff. <laughs> this is probably killing Vic right now. A little bit. I'm, you know what else will be killing me? <laughs> I have been unmedicated because I don't have any... As I don't oh, yeah. I, I remember. Right I remember. Now. So I used... To, at the start of balancing, I was so careful. I was so afraid to make any big changes. And everyone was like, dude, you're making nothing burger changes. <laughs> so, and then I just eventually snapped out and now i'm doing crazy stuff now you're like, yeah crazy evil stuff. scientist oh <laughs> yes he's actually doing he's actually changing the meta now he made the mg3 better dude buffing <laughs> he the made MG3. the k1a better than this old c7a2 buffing the mg3 is the last mistake the community is gonna make you forget <laughs> <laughs> don't worry it's already buffed <laughs> all right what about you, Dio? You ever feel pressured by the community to when you put stuff in the game? Oh, Jesus. So, initially, kind of, but of course, like, it's sort of a mixed bag now where I feel like there are individuals that do put unnecessary pressure or are unnecessarily critical when they don't need to be or are very redundant about it. 100%. Um, but other than that, I'm... I, I realize I technically, like, I can work at my own pace. I don't work on any deadlines. So, sure. as a result, I'm not, I don't feel pressured. Oh, good. That's, that's good. Yeah. It's really good work ethic. <laughs> if I can add one more thing, there's still someone crying for me for the old K sounds, the K family sounds. Oh, my goodness. Right now? <laughs> yes. What the fuck? How how long has it been? Um, pretty I, few months now. Someone has the new ones are better. The, world. <laughs> the new ones are still better though. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Dude, the the new the new gun sounds are amazing, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, put, I put quite some effort in them. Yeah, we we can tell, dude. It's 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 great. Especially if it's like. Oh, it's a conversion that changes the whole gun, like, oh, entirely. Let's just give it a different sound. Make it sound more special. Yeah, do the do, do, do the SGU next. All right. Uh, next question. <laughs> what, the, what, the, what, what was that? What, is, what little internal monologue that you let slip? <laughs> the SVU. Oh. When you, ch when you change the Lancaster ammo, it becomes, like, 5% more deep, and that's it. No, <laughs> let's, let's. I'm going to scrutinize brief here for a second. How about auto mag five moment? <laughs> oh, oh, oh god, this. Oh yes, I have it equipped right now. <laughs> oh yeah, so there was an accident that happened. I I don't know how this slipped through, but 
We gave it a two times torso multiplier. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I remember I, remember I joined what? the team when this happened, and I see the first thing in chat. I see Tayo Kiz say, I can't wait to torso kill people at 80 studs with the AM5. And I just reply, <laughs> I came here just Hold on. to do that. Hold on. Oh, I yeah. need to see this. It's no, fixed, it's not, it's though. Not Don't in. worry. It's not in. Okay, oh, okay, goodness. okay. But it's been there for a while, actually. It's been like for maybe one or two weeks of the test place. Oh, it, it's it's it was one of the funniest things ever. Oh, people! Rather than complaining, people loved it. Dude, yeah, yeah, we we need more goofy shit in this game, man. I should make more accidents. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me see. Uh, what? what let me see. People want uh Michelle looking at you suspiciously. People want the K2 buff. How about I make it do 320 damage for a second by, by accident, <laughs> quote unquote. <laughs> 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 All right. I have like personalized questions for each one of you. Do it. Oh, so, oh, country, I want you to it. ask one more question and then I'll, I'll ask uh, all mine. How does it um how does it feel? A lot of my questions are really just like very vague, all things considered. But how does it um, <laughs> how does it feel when you f see like a creation you're proud of first appear in game, or people love it, or different things like that? It makes me feel very happy and very ecstatic. Like I still get very giddy every time I get killed by something I made, or if you're <laughs> using something that That's I made. That's actually so cool. Because like for me, I made I made a couple small things. I made. Like these are these are things you can put on your gun. The double open sight and okay. the plague insight were both made by me. And I still get very happy every time I see them being used by someone. The double open is one of my favorite irons. The they're very the nice. They're very has simple. Very, very good zoom, by the way. Hey, if it makes it's you happy to use. on half my loadouts <laughs> I run the wrecks with a carbine barrel and just yell big iron every time I shoot at someone. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> beautiful. <laughs> That was the meme that I started it with, yes. Good. <laughs> That's how it needs to be. <laughs> what, what about you, Dark? Uh, that really depends on the contribution. For the melees, when the pizza cutter first made it, the very first thing, I was so proud. I was so happy. I got something in the game, my favorite Roblox game. Mm -hmm. I had to share it to all my friends. All, all the melees make me happy, too. I... I, I get a smile every time I see a run thing running around someone's hands. <laughs> the sounds also make me really happy, but the balancing is like, for me, oh god, are they, are they gonna enjoy it? Is, yeah. Are they gonna hate it or something? It's stressful. Is Test Place chat gonna blow up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the quiet man himself gets to speak. Yeah, so in terms of like something appearing in the game, well, I mean, the yellow laser has been topical ever since it was first introduced. So in that way, I feel like, wow, I made something that is actually like somewhat meta and mm -hmm. still relevant even to this day. That's pretty awesome. Um, but I also share Bree's sentiment as well that I see, you know, like I realize, oh my God, something of mine is in the game. And so, you know, that's, it's, I think that's pretty awesome. Hell. Even I could even align this to me being a staff member. I still, to this day, pull up my profile on, you know, the Stylus Discord just to look at my roles and see I'm a team leader. Like <laughs> that, that that happened. This happened. I'm special. <laughs> So I have no shoot. I have a channel with like all the sounds in there, and sometimes I just go through all of them. Just, see how much sir. I improved over time. <laughs> Duo, how did it feel with the uh, double yellow laser vector meta? Oh <laughs> man! To see everyone using oh, the yellow gosh. laser. Oh my god, that was yeah, that was uh, certainly something. Dude, <laughs> everyone's still using yellow lasers. It's. Uh... And the what, the best part is it's not even the it's my model is not even the one that it gets used most. Mine's only seen on the pistols and the Rama. Oh. The model that you actually see most often of the time is made by Mako Sushi, and that model is fantastic. Okay. You mean the the really like uh the rectangular one? Like the nice looking peck box. The I made the, the rectangular one. one. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
yeah, mine was made first, and then Mako made uh, the ANPQ2 to serve as the primary model. Mm. Okay. Well, well, I forget I asked that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, before we started this, I like thought up of really personalized questions for all of you according to what you wrote in our in our server about yourselves. Um and I'm gonna ask them now. Um so I'm gonna start with Victor. Hi. And then I'm gonna go duo and then Bree. So Victor. Yes. You have remodeled the Rex, right? Yes. Was there a sense of like did did you f ever feel like you were kind of removing something classic from the game something that like was there since the beginning that that people liked or do you did you never think about that cuz the old model has been like I personally have always liked it for how goofy it looked but I don't know about you or other people Way to take a so, side kind of argument. funny story. Uh, <laughs> kind of funny story. When I was modeling the MP412 Rex, I wanted to incorporate the classic feel of it while still giving it an entire overhaul. Mm -hmm. So, for the longest time, I was debating on having the default barrel length be four inches. Oh, that's lit. Which is the default barrel length. For the MP412 Rex in real life. That's mm. why it's called... It's just something that just kind of happened. Okay. But after a lot of discussion with some folks, and also being in a call with Shay, we chose to keep it at the 6-inch barrel length as the because... default, and then just add a shorter barrel as an option. Yeah. Because it looked better? More or... so because it's... What the classic one had. Uh, yeah, like, like so the, there uh, was some amount of con consideration about the old model when you were remodeling it. Yes. So okay. much so that I also separated the, uh, the reload so that you also had... Um, so you had the individual reload, but you also had the uh, speed loader reload. Yeah. Mm. And Lido, as amazing as he is, was able to... Sorry, I made that sound like I was going to say something negative. With, <laughs> with Lido, amazing as he is, and all he did, he made the sta the regular reload on it without the speed loader so much more beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's such a good reload. Oh, yeah, it, it looks amazing. Yeah, that was surprising when I saw that. It's so it's so. I satisfying. saw it, and I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'll that for all the other revolvers. Yeah. yeah. I do, too, which means if I ever end up having to, if I, no, not having to, if I ever end up remodeling the rest of the revolvers, which I probably will not be doing this year, uh, I would probably also do try and get that same reload done for all the others. <laughs> Can you imagine how good that reload or, would look on the jury? Yeah. That would probably oh, be amazing. Oh. In fact, I'm pretty sure there isn't even a... Uh... I'd also fix the jury model because it still <laughs> uses 410 shells in the reload. Mm. <laughs> when by default, it's 45 long colt. And I will not be having any sass from anyone who says that it's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> They're completely different. <laughs> it's <laughs> different. Also, 454 Kasul in the Executioner. It uses 410 shells as well. <laughs> yeah. actually, the inconsistency of the reloads tends to get to me yeah i actually kind of like to interject here because um i can kind of relate to that question a little bit because um this i don't know if this is in test place or not i don't think it is but i recently i remodeled the jade key um which yeah like it's an event melee that surprisingly someone is giving attention to and yeah. so i one of the first things that i actually considered with that melee is i want to give it the nostalgic feel it needs to look like the it or rather it needs to have the old feel but it still needs to feel fresh and so uh 
I was like, well, how can I do that? And so I was like, okay, let's just include the hints and it's still going to look fresh. It still looks new. I'll actually post it here in the channel right okay. now. Um, so you can see that. Uh, you can't see the hints though. Ah. Uh. Not on the, uh, not on this screenshot, but the hints are there. They're there. So funny thing. Do you know, do you know the record on the J key? I do not. Someone got 140,000 kills with it. Holy that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and the, be the best part is, is that this model is technically getting an upgrade because it is just a little bit longer. Hey! <laughs> hey! Go. It's a grower! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> it's getting buffed! Hooray! Alright. So, yeah. I was... Alright, yeah, duo up next. Can I... Okay. Before I ask... Uh, are we allowed to talk about your UMP45 remodel? Oh, I was about to bring it up. Perfect. All right, well. <laughs> Let's go. You're, you're currently remodeling the UMP45, and what made you do that? Um, Why? <laughs> simply put, I wanted to... Okay, so funny thing, actually. So before this, before I started remodeling the UMP, I was originally remodeling the Zip, but I'm like... Uh oh. I, I got demotivated partway through because I'm like, I, I just don't want to deal with this shit anymore. There's too much complications that I need to deal with. And so I just like, I tossed that project aside. And so I was like, maybe I'll try for the UMP. Maybe do something a little bit easier. Um, and yeah, the UMP is definitely an older model, but I would also argue that in the case with Vix, um, well, actually not in the case with Vix, the new model might look and feel a bit different. Oh? Because of the fact that not only am I making it so that it is, well, anchored to what is in real life, Ooh. I'm also going to be adding a bunch of stuff that people are wanting. So, UMP9, that's... I was I literally about to Ooh. say that. <laughs> UMP9, uh, USPC, I can't remember what that thing is called, that civilian conversion USC? or whatever it is. The oh, USC, no. the one with the full The USC, thank you. The proof that the one with the 10 round mag people. that's semi-automatic and a long barrel and a stock. <laughs> that one I'm also planning to I, do as well. I civilian MP7 win. Civilian MP7 win. The very next question I had was, are we getting the UMP 9mm conversion? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I thought of that ahead of time. Oh, All right. So badly. Uh... Have you been having any hard times with that? Like, uh, have you, like I, like I said with Vic, have you been taking into consideration the older model, or have you just thrown that to the garbage? Well, if you're talking about hardships, so let me tell you a little bit about Shay's process. So oh. Shay's modeling process is he starts working on something. Gets distracted by another, ooh, shiny. And then <laughs> just goes and makes that and gets completely distracted, which is what happened here. I Never was making the UMP, anything? and then I was like, I want to make, there's something else that I want to make, um, which I'm not going to say what it is, because I want to keep it a surprise. And I'm like, okay. And so I just made that other gun in the course of the week, and I finished it. Ooh. Like, the UMP is still not done. Um... But other than that, like, in terms of, wait, wait, like, wait, you know, wait, hold on, hold on. There's something new? Soon, TM. We're working on Ooh. something. <laughs> what? Is, is there, um, okay. is, there is there a way to get a screenshot in the uh, server um, that we can't I'm share? Not going, I'm not sharing anything. Dang. Sorry. <laughs> Just I, send him I like a hey, dude. You just you, you just you send him a picture of one try, just like one them. try. Just send me a screenshot of text. Just says psych. <laughs> just, just a zoomed in picture of what's just one try. <laughs> one so try. this is this is one singular triangle. You can tell. Okay, me so we are getting something new. I'm happy, man. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just send us a picture like, of a confiscated police uh, gun. But yeah, like in terms of like, is a new gun. yeah, in terms of like you know, um, whether or not I'm taking the old model into consideration, no, not really. Um, <laughs> it's it's kind of a pretty basic model, all things considered. It's yeah. basically a rectangle of sorts. Well, <laughs> yeah. not necessarily a rectangle, but you get the idea. Um, and so I kind of want to make that look better. And so sometimes 
there are times where when I'm making something or remodeling something where I have to do a balance between, you know, I want to stick to the older model for the nostalgia factor or maybe add in a little Easter egg with the, for nostalgia factor. Like that's what I did with the classic knife, which some people were not happy that the classic knife got I... a remodel because it was it. The whole point of it is that it's the old knife. Yeah, model. I, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. I personally felt kind of weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but I mean, sometimes I forget it exists. You know, you yeah, no, about. and that's the thing too is that there's a lot of melees in this game. Like, for perspective here, like how like there's close to what either close to or over a hundred public melees in the game. Yeah. It also mm. doesn't help the fact that you can't get the classic knife before rank two hundred. Like impossible. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that was sort of that one wasn't necessarily like a remodel as much as it was like a touch up. But mm. that one I did try to, you know, consider the old model in some ways, but make it more kind of HD ish. Um, and then there were other models like I mentioned the Jade Key earlier where I was like, I want to stick to, uh, you know, what it usually looked like. Um, the World Buster, which I remodeled, was the first one where I actually took a considerable deviation from what it originally looked like uh, and made it different. So instead of what it looked like before, it now has much more of like a cyber, like techie sort of appearance to it. Oh, which yeah. I don't know whether or not that deviates from the source material. I've never played Final Fantasy VII. Okay. It, I think in Final Fantasy, it's just a big-ass sword. <laughs> nothing yeah. more, nothing less. <laughs> um, so... Bree, I did yes. not, like, I did not find, well, not find, I just wasn't aware of any weapon you may have remodeled, because I was kind of aiming for more weapon remodel questions here. Um, uh. So, I was just going to ask you a really vague question, but I feel bad about doing that now. So, <laughs> you should do it. So, I'm just going to ask you. How is it like to work on weapon sounds? What does the process look like? I open Audacity. I look at sound. I look at gun. How is it like? How would I feel like? How it would sound like? I look at files. I I hear them, and if <laughs> I feel like they fit, I throw them in as layers, and then I just start doing random crap with samples, pitch, volume. Cutting things away, fading stuff. Pretty technical. But actually, I'm not even a professional. I'm still... <laughs> Compared to actual sound designers, I'm just not good. So but you're you're kind of... Uh, you got more of a trial and error kind of approach to it. Yes. That's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of cool. Uh, was that do you your ever... vague question, or was that the, uh, the question? No, that no, that, that wasn't my vague question. So that you had something... a vague question, and you asked him a potentially more vague question. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bri. Ow! Uh, um, do you ever, like, uh, take inspiration for actual, from actual, like, real-world sounds, or do you kind of just do it on the fly and see what sounds good? At first, no. But, as of recently with the Wool AK family sounds, I knew that was going to be a problem. Because people wanted it resounded, and the AK is the most famous gun in the world. Yeah. yeah. And in every game, it, ha it sounds like it's almost the same. It has to sound good in a very specific way. And mm. I had a problem with that because I did not have the samples for that. So I went to Lido. And he gave me some actual sounds from an actual library. And those helped so much. Okay. So and the same thing with the M60 now in the future. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I can't wait for the M60, sound? man. Ooh. That'd be nice. Yeah, you, you didn't Hi, hear it. He, he, he sent, he sent the, the, the sound effect in, in the Oh, I just effect. didn't listen. I was waiting till after. I wasn't listening <laughs> to it. Yeah. Technically, it's still a take, but I'm feeling happy about this one. Okay. I think it sounds great. All right. Well, uh, those, those, those were my questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, so 
Do you guys, um, either as a group or individually, do you guys have much experience working on community updates or anything like that? Like, actual mm. community updates? Uh, I, I genuinely just don't know. Are you talking about, like, game updates that were meant for the community, or, like, what? Like, um, or seasonal updates or different things like that, or just different updates that aren't, like, mm. just gun updates or different things. Kind of more fun or... Yeah, I started with the uh, with the legendary uh, Halloween twenty twenty uh, event where we had where we just kind of went all out for it. How, um, uh... Later on, there's also uh, another thing I went all out on was this map idea. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, uh, yeah. I was kind of the community. I was kind of the manager in charge of getting this all done, but Lith Robotic. Uh, Duo, Bree, uh, most of the other contributors as well made uh, little plots in this area. Okay. We tried to make sure that it was ready for. Oh, I forget which April Fools, but uh, I'm hoping that I was, ever it was the last map. one. I'm pretty sure. The only time I ever did something okay. to a map. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually but, this is actually my plot for in for the audience who doesn't. Oh know. yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Like, like, Country, you're gonna have to show the the shelf with the weapons on it for oh, yeah. for people. <laughs> yeah, it, it's nice. got a bunch of little things on there, and it also actually gives a little bit of insight into what I like as well. Which is apparently <laughs> the L eighty five series of weapons. Mm, the band I hammer. mean, I, I was talking about the. Well, yeah, I do the like the L six. It's my it's my most used gun. Yes, but is, uh... as of as of recent, I've 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 become ordinary. I'm a hammer user now. Interesting. Post nerf. Ordinary? What? You're using hammer post nerf? Yes. That's. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be honest. That's almost more questionable than the L86. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's interesting. Listen, the L86 just Willow nerfed it way too much. It doesn't feel good like it used to. And I, so... I, oh, it I is the L85 with a longer barrel. At least, at least we got a buff again, Lex and I. I had well, a challenge. Maybe for I'll have it to today. revisit it then. I had a challenge for it today, and it was horrible. I also had some challenges today, like the sawed off. Oh All yeah, right. well, I almost forgot. <laughs> back back to the main question, though. Yeah. Another thing that I do <laughs> is lobby stuff. Oh yeah. Ah oh, yes, the lobbies. Oh yes. my god! Every single lobby you see, well, almost every single lobby you've seen in the last year or two has been made by me, and I think one was made by Pudros. Okay. How is it working on lobbies? And uh, it's certainly interesting. You basically just you ever made a diorama growing up in school yeah. for like history or English class? Mm -hmm. It's basically that, but you have to use Roblox Studio and copyrighted music. <laughs> <laughs> I could have. It was on the. It's licensed by Roblox. Yeah. I swear. We know Roblox doesn't have a good history of owning their own sounds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I will. I will try and change it into something that's royalty free <laughs> uh, in the next update. I promise. All right. I'm glad we had that in for one eight music. <laughs> What'd you say? Use Minecraft C for one eight music. Oh, Minecraft default oh, yeah. music would be amazing. Well, that probably would be amazing. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's copyrighted. Bro. What's your What's your favorite lobby you've you've worked on? Oh yeah. Um. Ooh, uh, <laughs> the log cabin. Oh, I was—I okay. knew you were gonna say that. The, too. the what? The log cabin from Christmas of 2022, I think. That was one of the Pacific cold fronts one. On it's the, the one where we had the Squid Game uniforms. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, uh, I yeah. dude, dude, I look at records all the time and I see them and it looks so goofy. They do, and I still have them. Fun fact. So, so talk if about we them, ever, like... if we ever end up getting stuff working for character customization, I don't expect it's going to happen soon. But I've heard things, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but hopefully, we see it within this year. Ooh, dude! Character customization. Is no promises because working. Is, there's no promises because working with the developers sometimes is kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't exactly I... like to communicate that well. Ah, that's that's understandable. 
but oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <That would> be... <laughs> but yeah, back to back to the lobby. It was my favorite one to make because it was probably the most the one I put the most effort into, other than the current one. Okay. Uh, the current up one. A picture of it because I've never I never was there. <laughs> yeah, I like you should probably do that. Yeah, yeah. The current one is meant to be our new generic lobby. Uh, if you remember, growing up, the generic lobby was the gun, the gun store lobby. Yeah. Well, this one's based on a gun store I've been to. Oh. Well, more airsoft, but because I do airsoft stuff, but yeah. still, it, it actually yeah, looks really simple. good. It does. Yeah. Yeah. It is, uh, which one? The the current the one. Current one. one. Lock. Yeah, I put a lot of effort into it, and all the guns you see on the left-hand wall, next to that uh, grizzled-looking guy who is mm. definitely not paid enough to see your guys' uh, loadouts. <laughs> <laughs> that that person is me. Um, that that is my current Roblox profile. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah. Anyway, oh the guns God, you see behind Kira. him are made by me. Uh, those are oh, okay. my models. Most of them you can actually use in State of Anarchy, which is the other group I work with. I was wondering, Dude. I was wondering why those guns were up there, like what the what the reasoning for the selection was. Yeah. Do a, we'll talk about yeah. this later, okay? What, are you conspiring over there? <laughs> no, just does, does it need to be put down? Oh, I, I can put him <laughs> oh, down not this again. Not this again. Put him down. No, we're not doing this. Do it. Okay. Yeah, I, I couldn't find the lobby pictures. I, do you think? Do you guys think it's a, it's on a, the wiki? The lobby? It should be. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I think it uh, might be. If not, here, let me open up my studio. And just more than likely, no. To. If there is a like an article on the lobby, it's There's not one I'm aware of. Just no lobby up, articles. Just look up PF content from that time. I I. You're oh, gonna man. you're gonna be looking. Stop being right. While. It's <laughs> it's a desolate place from when I was first there. You all you have to do yeah. is go on the record sheet and find a record that matches the time. Yeah, that's probably the best place to do that. So like winter twenty twenty two, you'd probably find some. God, this map. Just to kind of put this into perspective, I am a dino heckin' dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, man. No, no, no. man. I Spirals is on only in 2012. Spirals is only one year younger than you. All right. So anyway, <laughs> how does it feel being old and playing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you actually, know, that's it, that's actually a really good question. We we asked. You know, it's Spirals. kind of refreshing to see the young folk doing things that I don't still don't know how to do, <laughs> like all the Zingus stuff, which I still yeah. think is a stupid name. It's just... Zingus is I even cringe at Ebb's light. Like, Ebb's yeah, light. No, what are you going to do? Send an EMP at someone? Every no, it's supposed time to mean am... empowered. That's even worse. <laughs> yes, it is. I hate it so much more now. <laughs> I thought it was like empty slide or something. something like that. Empowered is awful. No, it's MP ray. It's an electromagnetic pulse. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Where <laughs> in the mick heck is this file? I could find the bizarre lobby. What the mix? I think I heard a few people liked him. The bizarre lobby. I think lobby. some people oh, liked the uh, bizarre uh -oh. lobby. Well, there he goes. <laughs> that just seems to happen every single time. I got this guy's wallet. <laughs> wallet. Oh, I, Give me I his wallet in the back room. Get away! Get away! It's okay, okay, I actually didn't okay, mean you to get, kill you. you there. I'll get serious. his fists. You, dude, you You'll sent me to the back rooms. I got his fists. Oh. Oh, oh my in the back rooms. Oh no. You, you want to throw it? <laughs> anyway, um, where's the other? I, I think I might have overwritten it with another lobby. It's somewhere oh, in my sad. files. I'll find it. Eventually. Well, if you find it, you can send it in general chat. We'll probably just put it on screen. If you find it, it'll shoot, pop I think up I... at a random time and no one will know why. <laughs> no one will ever know. Pop it up at a <laughs> random time and put the timestamp of the, of the... Oh my god, it's not bad. I should just use the you got it? 60 sound as like a sensor sound. And then I, nobody like, I found the version like that I sent. It. I, feel I sent like the I've... version I sent to Mar uh, before he modified it. I feel like I've it has log it, but... cabin, fire. Uh, there was a banjo in the corner. Yeah, that Ooh. brings back. A there was a furry nice. head. There was a what? furry head mounted on the wall with the troll face behind it. If you disabled gun lobby gun models, <laughs> that's, uh, okay, that's kind of that's kind of clever.
There was a there was an angled grinder at the oh weapon loadout screen. There's your protogen with the pizza. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, no, yeah, that's actually models. pixel bit. That's a, oh, yeah. that wasn't included. That was actually pixel bit was actually a small tidbit of lore here. There was there was possibly going to be another one, another mascot named Pixel Bit, made by Dev slash American. It was a protogen. <laughs> oh. Because that... they were interested in them when I was obsessed with them. <laughs> so I helped them design it. Oh man, that's your weird lore today. I, I wish that was added. Yeah. All right, shall yeah, we get back on topic, boys? I've just been single. I have somehow accrued eight pings throughout this entire thing. I don't know what they're from. I'm scared to open them. <laughs> they're probably from anyway. Uh, I also sent a bunch of screenshots of stuff that I have been working on, and they will also be randomly showing up at yep. any point in <laughs> literally in the stream. I'm just gonna put them on random points of the screen, random sizes, random times. Find Beautiful God. Easter egg. Only... Find the images. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of the big ones though uh, will probably pop it up. It, it's the uh, it's the one based on that Reddit post, the Tech Nine thing. Oh yeah, I made that as a meme because I found that so stupid, <laughs> so incredibly cursed that I could not, couldn't not model it. Oh yeah, it is is blurred. It's blurred, much like all the other guns that I model. I tend to make stuff that's either quirky, unique, in some way, shape, or form, or... Jesus! Fun. <laughs> or, in other, way, in other shape or form, fun. He was Jesus. For, he I was think, I think that, that, that made a turn that was... I was not expecting. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of quirky executes it, man. <laughs> They're kind of quirky. <laughs> I think I think you're gonna have a slam dunk with that M60 though. Yep. I think. Really uh, oh yeah. I, I'm looking at it like right now. I just hammer. need to. I just need to. I just need to keep on uh, getting shade to like just take one day away from the other stuff that he's been working on to review it and let me know if I need to change anything so that I can change it. I'm I'm looking so at it right you now. You don't have to. And Jay, uh, if you're watching this. Call Vic <laughs> now, please. He's not like, like Vic said, I don't think he has time. <laughs> like it would literally, like he he has time. He's just oh, he busy with real life stuff and getting some other stuff ready for an update. But like, he could take one day. That's all I need. Well, two days technically. One day to review it and then send me some send send me like a list of things that would need to be changed, and then I can go and do that. And then send it back to him, and then he just takes one more day to look at it. I I think it. I think it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. I really hope it gets added soon. I want get, it yeah. to be added this Independence Day update. That'd be really. Good. I feel like it would be the most appropriate time to do it because PF yep. is reaching ten years old. There are some people playing oh, PF damn. who are younger than the M60 model, and it's <laughs> weird. That is a wild sentence. Yeah, uh... this is, there is no meme. There is no joke. It's just that the M60 is ten, M60 model in PF is ten years old, except for the bullets. That's the only thing that got changed. <laughs> this would be a nice refresher. It would, yeah. There's gonna be people complaining like my old M60 model, even though they haven't used it in five years. <laughs> my five yeah. cubes. Oh, there are skin zones. My. They're, they're, they're gonna be the same. Don't worry. Oh, that's. Yeah, I'm that's... not gonna change the skin zones. That's like I did with the Rex. I didn't change the skin zones. I just enhanced them. Enhance. Yeah. Enhanced. <laughs> the more it's you not know. that. Da, 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 da. Insert sound effect now. Uh. Anyway. All right. Um. Now we have questions for you. Oh. 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 Don't shoot me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I don't no. intend to. How does death feel? God. He, Dark man, you're Do not it. seeing behind you, but Country had like a whole Mosin barrel going through your skull. No, he could probably see it. <laughs> oh, now I see it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't rend. If I look down, it doesn't render. If I look up, then it does render. <laughs> Agony. All right, you, ha you have questions for us? Stop doing that. I, 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 I genuinely didn't mean to. Oh, that's death number I was, 51. I was spamming. I was oh spamming. my god. No, 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 Oh, no. Anyway, while they're doing that, um, commenters, comment 
you t- comment what you like from what we've made and why. Oh yeah, of I feel course. like that'd be kind of a fun thing to do. Any <laughs> while you two are running through the labyrinth known as the idea, um, <laughs> what would be what would you say would be I don't know a melee weapon or a gun or some balance change that you would want to see done for PF? I have, I have my own say, idea. Hello, do a thousand damage. Hello, we're not gonna oh. do that. What do you mean we're not gonna do that? Because in, it's in, because it's ineffective. For balance, dude, what? I would <sighs> I would make thirty round mag the default on P ninety, please, please. Okay, so That's I have really I have thirty round for the P90. He wants he wants the civilian version of the P ninety, and I want him. To no, 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 no. I just don't Isn't want people this... to have LMG mags. The default the civilian round... wants heavy automatic. Yes, but the default round capacity for the P90 is 50. You'd be less faithful to the. I said actual... balance, dude. The... <laughs> no, I'm kidding, you guys. I, okay, speaking I... of P90, I'm gonna work on it. Oh. Eventually. Eventually. I just need to bully Shay into getting the M60 done first before I do anything else on my list. You should definitely get this. And yes, I do Sam. have a list of things I want to remodel. Oh my god, I forgot. I do to... have a list. Never mind. It's valid it. Uh, the FALs are not on it currently, no. You're going to disappoint a lot well, of people. So. Yeah, you're going to no disappoint a lot of people with that. <laughs> However, I do have a particular list that. Uh, which includes P90, MP7, Mark 11, Ooh. if Shay doesn't do it. Mark 11 would oh, be a um, model. It would the be FAMAS, amazing. the AN94. Interesting. And Drum roll. Uh, maybe the Zip. Okay. Uh, You're going to pick up where Duo left off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Duo, Duo kind of said, I don't want to do this anymore. Because the, the Zip Twenty Two the... has really stupid geometry. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I, was, I, was guess... gonna, I mean, <laughs> we can we can. I I don't think we should. Like, we'll spare you the details or more intricacies, but no, modeling explain. is damn hard. You have no <laughs> idea. Especially yeah. when it comes to trying to mimic Shay's style, because mm. yes. Shay's style is a hyper detail, no baked textures. And has right. to reach a certain try count limit. Mm. Does well, he also has certain like philosophies in regards to uh, how you should do it and like the quality of things? Like, okay, so I've said this a lot in posts and suggestions, but one of the main things that Shay does that really annoys me is he uses twelve volt cylinders and says they're easier to work with. And then I do that exact same thing, and I'm like, "How do you do this? How do you work with these? How, like how?" So it's one hundred percent. I will just use sixteens instead, it. please. Yeah, so it, uh, it depends on what you grow up with. For me, yeah, it's uh, oh yeah. For the uh, like, as an example, uh, I'm pretty sure Willow when they made the C seventy nine and M one four five and Susat, they used twelve verts. Mm-hmm. It did not look good. Okay. So when I remodeled the L cans, the C79 and the M145, I also made those. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, when I did that, I think I used a 20-sided triangle, or a 20-sided sheet. Okay. Yeah, because 20-sided it just triangle. Made it, look, <laughs> it just it just looked nicer. Mm-hmm. It looked it, it wasn't like super edgy to look down the site. Yeah. Which was a big complaint that a lot of people had. And yes, I can and will model things out of spite. <laughs> and I will continue to do it. Yeah, and that's kind of the thing, too, is that um, like, there is sort of a conflict here, because for any modelers who knows, um, like, Shay's philosophy about being hyper-detailed without, you know, using, like, um diffuse maps which is what we call basically texture maps um is weird for a robust game and especially one where he wants hyper detail get a low poly style i think 
that's something that I need that needs to be emphasized here. And that's not a that's not a criticism of Shay. It's just interesting, I'll say to say the least. Are there like some some jumps you gotta you gotta get to to make certain models are there do you think there are models that like aren't possible with that kind of style knurling so, is hard <laughs> so vic knows oh, this quite yeah, well imagine. so and i actually mm, do i want to go into this or not i feel like i would be getting too uh which thing too technical i could Look, probably people help don't want to watch it and skip over it yeah okay booleans they are the fun little things i use them a lot actually mm. i don't he <laughs> don't i'm used to him he's not and there's that's kind of another skill thing there because he knows how to do geometry nodes and i barely know how to do geometry nodes but they basically do the same thing just with differing levels of skill required to do them okay but uh, as an example, with the booleans, with stuff like barrels or holes in the guns, uh, like the uh, like the holes in the M60 handguard, I'll I'll give you a close up so that you can use it here. Mm -hmm. um, they're gonna it's these needed to be done with booleans because I couldn't think of any other way to get those holes the way I they are in real life. And to sort so. For anyone that doesn't know what a boolean is, or what, um, or has never used Roblox's solid modeling tools, booleans are basically ways to either cut holes into shapes, fuse shapes together, or to keep the intersections of um, multiple intersecting pieces. It's respectively called difference, union, and intersection, and it's named after set theory. Uh, for those who are first in that. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, Vic used booleans to make cuts in that. I use a different method to achieve the same result, but as a result, it's I'm highly more limited in what I can do. And so for you know, like for the gun that I was working on that's now complete, and also for the UMP, I have to use those, and I'm not comfortable with using booleans. Um, well, soon you will. Surprise! So, surprise! Yeah. <laughs> And so I have to, you know, I have to put that aside and just be like, well, this is happening and I'm just doing something that I was, funnily enough, told not to do. Oh. <laughs> like, like I was taught by a bunch of people, like some of my peers, and, you know, I was taught methods that were very different from how Shay does it. I mean, that mm. sounds about right. It seems to be how it is across most things yeah well as long as the the final product looks like what shay would make yeah i guess he's gonna accept it <laughs> well sure but i mean the other thing also about modeling is that there is also an element of doing things sure if you can get to an accomplished end goal okay fair enough now you but can you do it fast and can you do it well yeah and for, and even for Vic and I, like, well, I think the one gun that I finished, that took me 23 hours to make the initial gun, and then another six or seven in making a couple of extra things for it. Okay. Mm. Which when you get, which when you learn what this gun is, you will see, wow, that is actually... Like you'll you since you oh, have no scale, no. you'll think that's pretty fast, but in reality, I would argue that's actually kind of slow. Okay. Are you are I am you making something simple? Yeah, it, it it is a pretty simple gun. I am uh, I'm scared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I remember the gun now. It's it's very beautiful. Oh. But also, <laughs> going back a little bit, he talked about scale. That's another big thing. We all work at different scale levels. For those One. of you who do not know what that means. Um, whenever we model something, we choose a set scale or like how big or how small we want that model to be while we're working on it. Okay. And for me, I work at a 10 times scale. For me, I work at a 1 100th scale. That is oh. wildly different than <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. orders of magnitude. It's ridiculous. 
What? But and and sometimes I have to ask him for a thing, and then he gives it to me, and it's microscopic, yeah. and I have to change the scale <laughs> for it to actually be visible, even briefly. <laughs> There's no model here. <laughs> There's no model. I see an no, you just need a microscope. I need an electron microscope to see these half the time. <laughs> he, 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 he says this. He's not lying, though. Like, And that was kind of something there, because um, uh, Threadripper, or Revenant, he was the one that sort of... Uh, fantastic model, by the way. Yeah, oh, he's he's fantastic. Um, he makes stuff yeah, for fantastic. Arsenal, for context. Yeah, he's the contractor for Arsenal. Um he he was the one that initially turned me on to the you know work at a you know one one hundredth scale and so I'm like, you know what you you know what you're doing you are way better than I so I'm going to listen to you and I kind of use sort of like his you know steps when it comes to working mm-hmm. on, on things. How was it like learning about all this stuff? Because duo, you keep talking about learning from other people in the community, like. Are there other people who like dedicate themselves to teaching to new contributors or is that more of like a I'm friends with this guy he's going to teach me kind of deal? Well, well, it's more or less so in terms of like, you know, how you can learn to do this stuff. Yes, there are tutorials online that can teach you how to do 3D modeling and how to use Blender and things like that with the donut tutorial perhaps being the most infamous. Um, none of Bye. that can prepare you for trying to make a gun for Phantom Forces. It doesn't. Mm. So it comes with uh, a lot of passion, a lot of labor, blood, sweat, and tears. The easiest way I can explain how like, I learned to make things in Blender, I fucked around and I found out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Is that a shared experience? It's, it's, gotten me so, it's gotten me here so far, so what? I think at this oh. point, though, like... Over time, though, I've gotten a more like established style now, yeah. mm. so that I'm consistently working and making sure things look the way that I'm, you know, wanting sorry. them to. Yeah. Mm. All right. When it comes to working, and I, I'm sorry, I cut you off there. And so, when it comes to me making melees, for example, or making attachments, uh, my usual style uh, is very like I especially with the gripper models and I'll uh let me post a picture of the vertical grip actually because this might be my Oh best yeah, example. I saw that okay. before. <laughs> I know exactly yeah. what you're going to post. <laughs> um but you'll see a very big difference from how Shay does his models versus how I do mine cuz like I said earlier he does he uses 12 vert cylinders. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll include the stubby grip in this as well, and I, and the folding grip too. Why the hell not? I, dude, the fact that I know exactly what you're gonna post and that it traumatized me is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> the so the folding or not the folding grip, the stubby grip and the vertical grip, those are using twenty fours, not twelves. Okay, they look really good. Yeah, they yeah, really they good. look they look smooth as hell. Yeah, that's the difference here. They look like actual plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Country, you're actually gonna need to to put this on screen just to like. Oh yeah. Show people because this really this good. actually looks like it was injected injection molded. Yeah. It's that's, that's amazing. When I saw a model, it was quite nice. He was also pulling his hair out though as he was doing it. <laughs> well, I bet he not, was. No, the, ver- the, 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 the vertical grip. grip and the stubby grip were easy. It was I. I was kind of a bit like eh, I got really concerned when i got to folding grip because i'm like i have to do booleans now and i hate doing booleans and so i did end up using actually no i didn't use boolean i used shrink wrap method there but then when i got to angled grip um which shay's actually having me redo by the way because the angled grip i made um you'll notice these grips there on the screen they all follow a theme Mm -hmm. they look like their counterparts yeah uh, that are currently in game they look like the original is just higher quality no. I don't know Here's what that. the angled grip that I made looks like. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> it looks so fun. Very different but... from how it looks in game right now. Yeah. yeah it, I, it, I, the I way it looks in game look. is just a triangle. I wouldn't even be upset if that got added as a new grip. 
I would like some new grips. That's I made good. a hand stop like, like a... forever ago, and then it just never showed up. You can just slap that in there and call it like a fin grip or something. Why? What's that a shark fin good. grip? Yeah, something like that. It's, uh, it looks really good. Oh, and the texture on the front. Oh. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's nice. We're all here ogling about him. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we're just we're just geeking out, dude. We're just, I we're just am, nerds. I am hunched over, just staring. Yeah. Cuck. Well, yeah. Welcome to how you know contributing works. We often just talk about you know what our stuff, the stuff we do, and we get really complicated. And it's a language that Vic and I know, but no one else <laughs> does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, Noise will have a nice little okay uh, listening session for the technical stuff. Duo, I have something that might interest you. It's a product from the real world. Here, he, here you go. Oh, that little thing. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a hand. It's, it, it's called a it's shift short angled grip. It it's a like baby. A hybrid it's of the skeleton much, and the angled grip. That's exactly for, what it is. It's pretty much for a hybrid C clamp grip. It is exactly what it is, Victor. Beautiful. I think that's in. Um, yeah, I've I've seen that in uh, Tom Clancy's The Division Two. It's in Battle Bit Two. I think it might be in what's it called? Me. Frontlines. Oh, it might be. Here's a knife. That is a knife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa! I ha Oh yeah! Fun fact. That's most your knife. Most of the melee weapons I made, I have in real life. Yeah, he he showed us that to us earlier the, on while we're goofing around. The original around. pocket knife model that I made was actually based off of the pocket knife, a Swiss Army knife that I owned in real life. The current model is not based on that. Okay. Ah, uh, because that just... the the pocket knife remodel that I did that was more just to see how far I could go with the pocket knife and, you know, just as a demonstration of what I've learned in my time. And in the end, I would say that model was, that one was a pretty big, you know, accomplishment for me. Of course, I would definitely say that, uh, you know, I've made significantly better now, but that one's one where, like, there was sentimental value in both the current model and the old one, so yeah, you know, found it. Oh, my pizza cutter was also based on my I found the, pizza uh... cutter. Oh yeah, <laughs> did you I, I did you make it out of the yeah. kitchen? Probably need to redo it. Ooh, I you, love, did... Oh, oh, Emlock. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember yeah. looking over that thing. That thing was Mac interesting. Cold. That's what it is. Your your I pizza made it, cutter. It's... Hold it was on. meant to be dummy simple. <laughs> Bree, I think. Yes. I mean, what's what sentimental value is there in, in your pizza cutter? I use it for every pizza. Dude, <laughs> that's the best answer. <laughs> what 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 did you just send, by the way, Vic? He sent a uh, uh, he sent a Magpul hand stop uh, module. Oh, Magpul grip, yeah. Yeah, I made that. And I didn't have, and I tried to get it submitted and added in, and then it just sat in limbo forever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, um, that's just a thing that happens do, sometimes. Do you do you want to go over a process of of uh, asset review now? Ooh. Well, yeah, I can, especially yeah. since I am one. Yeah, both me and Vic are both as um asset official and, asset reviewers. Yeah, yeah, and so. We our responsibility when it comes to reviewing assets is we don't review guns. That's Shay's thing. Um, also because Shay knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Um, on that we front. don't. But well, not that. But we we not yet, well, we do. But we also like that's more of his stuff. So basically, whenever someone submits an asset that we can review, such as a melee or an attachment, um, melee, it has to go a through prop. a. Yeah, or a prop. It has to go through a formal review process, which is basically um, we take the uh, the file, we load it in, and we just need to basically go over, look and see if there's any like major issues with geometry, such as uh, shading issues, pinching or stretching of the mesh, uh, and just correct that while also keeping things optimized for the game. Would uh, an asset be one like one of those 
ads like uh on metro on the underground there's a ton of big like banner ads everywhere would an asset count as one of those that's or... art which that is none is of it, none of us in this call it's a completely in different <laughs> thing that's resora's that's resora's domain and only resora's yo country next 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 episode <laughs> next episode next episode we already have people oh right okay never mind all right but so what what would count as an asset like the first thing i, I can think about are like uh the metro revamp there's a little table with guns on top yeah that's one of them yes that's an asset so an asset includes anything that the that the player can interact with which includes this ta this sofa this chair that little plush right there this rug. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Nope. Um, the oh, guns, uh, the melee weapons, that pool table. It's anything the player can interact with that it does not include art or guns. Technically speaking. Yes. Because we review everything else in between. Yeah. Mm. And we know when y'all... Also, fun fact, if you make something that bypasses the filters or... Uh, violates rules or in any way, shape, or form infracts, you get blacklisted. Yeah, yes. you can't do anything anymore after that. Sounds about right. Yeah, Don't you do, won't be. You yeah, won't be able to. The, that's an ice more that. moment. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. We, I we have some lore about that Whoa. fun fact. So during the winter of 2022, we had a random guy. What was his name again? Do you remember Duo? Do IV. D. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Duiv. Whatever. Um, he kind of showed up out of nowhere and submitted a super cool looking sword as a uh, winter 2022 um, weapon. And the moment that we released it, the uh, Raspi figured out, uh, thanks to, who was it? Wasn't it the, de the main developer of Kingdom Life 2? I have no idea. It was some super huge big guy who made a classic game for Roblox was like, hey, yeah, so that guy stole that from us. Oh, oh boy. Uh, and within mm. the space of about three hours, Shay made a new melee weapon, replaced it, and then we blacklisted and banned that guy. Yeah, and then everyone who had gotten the melee already got refunded 10,000 credits. Oh, yep. Oh. Yeah. I got it for free, though. Like, first case try, so I got Profit. basically free credits. <laughs> God yeah, and damn. The, the, the main reason that there was a refund there is that it was a limited time case unlock that, you know, people were trying to get, and so Wait, it was sort it? of like... Think of, like, those old, you know, if anyone was around for this, think of those old, like, bait-and-switch games uh, on Roblox, where, it like, for our case, it was kind of like that, where we pushed a model and then we had to replace it and so you know we're they're not we necessarily to, getting what they were, still looks good though was there another issue yeah. with stolen models ever or did the process really like help stop that we got really strict after that yes yeah that was that was the first time that was the I, first and last time yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's been the only time and that's why we're so strict on models in fact like to put this in perspective of like the people that you know are new to the contributor team i'm the newest addition to the contributor team and that was in 2020 okay mm. wait what yeah i mean the last one well, technically here, anyway. was doodle but we don't really hear from doodle anymore so it is duo wait what doodle, doodle made mean? ads and uh, D Doodle made ads. Yeah, I would consider that art, not like a ads, like though. the air in a can. Oh yeah, right. That guy, <laughs> and then ah, frick! I was supposed to make him an axe. That, that just reminded me. I was supposed to make him an axe like four years ago, and now I feel bad. <laughs> I see like two we different. Going back I'll get to it. I swear. We going back in time for this trauma. If he's ever, if he's actually watching this. That, that is a funny. giant. I apologize noise. greatly for forgetting. Oh, uh, what else do I have? Yeah. What? So I forgot. What were we even talking um, about? I don't know. You were the submission process. And then well, we were on the top oh, of the yeah, 
Yeah, that we were talking. Yeah, uh, we. If you do that kind of stuff, you get blacklisted. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was but, it. <laughs> but yeah, if you send us in like melee weapons or uh, map props, which y'all will put, well, y'all put in that one screenshot I sent of the of potentially new hill props yeah. instead of us fighting over a grill. Yeah, I like. I still need props. to still actually help you with that, that one. The bullet yeah. was the grill. You just He's said trying grill. To, trying to figure out. Yeah, while uh, we're on the topic of, King of the Aspen, Hill, yeah, yeah, that stupid barbecue. Can you like not make it bullet resistant next time? <laughs> oh, I abused the hell yeah, out of that. Everyone no abuses yeah. that. Bring around the rosy no dogs for bullets. <laughs> I didn't make it, so no comment on mine. <laughs> but I am trying to bring back the old, one of the older props called an MCOM station. If you played Battlefield Bad Company Two, you know what I mean. It's a mobile communication station. It's kind of okay. neat looking. Another one I'm trying to add is a box on a pallet with unknown stuff inside. Oh, unknown so that you, substances. You're imagining. Mm. Um, probably more like ammo, armor, uh, maybe cosmetics. Uh, I don't heckin' know. Oh, unknown substances. For all we know, it's a cat girl cloning machine. All right, I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> From Elon Musk. <laughs> you're sorry, you're... No! Oh my god. And another death happened. <laughs> oh, that shit's loud. <laughs> where I, where All right, so nothing was. happened. Oh, he's back. Wait, Absolutely nothing on. happened. All right, so nothing there happened. There is no warning. <laughs> Holy crap, he flew. <laughs> he, went flying, he went flying across the entire map. All right, there hold was on, no lady. war in Ba Sing Se. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. I clipped it. Beautiful. Dude, you, it was such a beautiful. Yes. Like he turned into a frisbee and just went flying. It's beautiful. This game has the best ragdolls. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. I'm very glad we can increase them. Talking about those ragdolls, uh, like the the fun factor. Do you guys oh. ever wish for more goofy stuff to be added to the game? Yes, absolutely. Every single gun that I model that I hope to get into PF is in some way, shape, or form quirky. Oh. What, what about what about you, Bree? Um, I don't really have much ideas. I just come like at the point. Like, if I come with the, up with the idea, I should say it. He made a pizza cutter <laughs> melee based off of an Italian melee from one of the world wars. What do you mean? Does he want stuff? <laughs> I mean, Indeed. like, like, yeah. One of one of my uh, up, one of the upcoming melees I want to add is a tactical mug. Oh. Oh, that sounds you great. Be... It has Picatinny rails. <laughs> it has Picatinny rails, yes. It's beautiful. And I want to add it as, like, a joke melee weapon, but I still need to add, like, a couple of extra parts to it. But Maybe. you will be seeing it in the lobby. It will be mm -hmm. replacing my character's mug you can add a in the too. lobby. Get, yeah, I could <laughs> add a scope to it. Yes. If, it's, if it I, gets added to him as a melee, make us be able to use attachments on it. Oh my god, <laughs> man! If I could, if I could do that, I one hundred percent would. Do not worry. <laughs> Suppressed bug. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Oh. Put a put a thread well, on, underneath it so you can put a suppressor on it. It would have to be called he would have to be called mugged so it would show up in the kill feed as like blank mugged blank. <laughs> it would have to be yes. It would have to be that tactically mugged. <laughs> Quietly and stealthily mugged. Is that the handle from the stoner? It looks like a carry handle. Uh it it's based okay. on some sort of carry handle. I'm Wait, not too sure optic, what it is. It's got the iron uh the iron adjustments knob. Yeah, I couldn't find any better angles on it, so I just solidified it. <laughs> Either way, you'll be seeing it in the lobby. And uh, once I do get the M60 model done, it will be put on the wall. Yes. I'm uh, not telling you where it will be put on the wall, but it will be, be put on the wall. We're, we're going to find it, don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it would definitely be very obvious. Well, it's right. a big machine gun. I'd hope it would be pretty obvious. Yes, of <laughs> course. I am blind, though. But I do have. But uh, frick! I forgot my train of thought. Where is it going? Get back where, here. Where are you going? You, <laughs> he's gonna go get. I'm trying it. to get my you, train of thought. Do you need a hard reset? And he's gonna die again. Where'd you go? No, I don't need a hard reset. Don't you heckin' and dare. Uh oh. Hey, what's this? I saved him from it. <laughs> oh my god. I saved him from it. It's okay. 
<laughs> I still have the most debts, at least. There is no Warren Bossing Say. <laughs> You're right. There's not. Anyway. I anyway, do you guys um... wanna do you guys wanna wrap this up soon or do you wanna keep yapping about more nerdy stuff? You guys we got get, stuff we, to talk about? What questions do we have here? Uh I have like maybe one or two. I'm left. out, so it's up to you. it's up to you or if they have questions. I have I have exactly two actually. Okay. Do you guys wanna move on to that or uh do you have anything else to add? You're the host. Alright, well here. Here's another question. We I, we asked that last episode, and I think it was really interesting, the, the answers to that. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on the whole content creator sphere of Phantom Forces? Do you guys interact? <laughs> he's gone. Well, nah. he, nah, I just... he's dead. I, I, think, hard, I think he died. Hard, hard reset him. Hold up. I, I have a range. I can repair take him. Take him out. Wait, Hold actually... on, boys, boys. No, no. My, my... <laughs> I think he boys, died. Boys, I I use wireless headphones and they just fucking died. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, that's hey, going he in the came that's back. going real. That's going. He no, came that's back, but I that's fixed stay, him. That's what did that sound man. like? What did that sound well, like? You were just talking. You were just it like was... the content creator. How did they interact? That you were going okay. Yeah. Okay. So as I was saying, uh. What do you guys think about the whole content creation sphere of Phantom Forces? Do you guys interact with that at all? Do you watch videos? Do you watch live streams or anything? Uh, I make my own videos sometimes. Most of the time, I just do it mute with uh, with captions. That's but awesome. otherwise, the like the big guys like um, some Steven or I I don't know. I have there's I have Strider, that, uh, there's Snowy, there's you're really yeah. a couple people's hearts. <laughs> There's country, there's no, me, look. there's... <laughs> look, look, look. In my defense, in my defense, I have that channel not listed because it helps a lot with my mental health so that I don't have... And it's also a lot better to have a mystery as to what the weekly meta is. Mm. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Like, as... Okay, for like... Content creators as a whole just kind of create a niche group of people. Oh yeah, who are very much like sheep following a shepherd, where they kind of parrot off of what they say and what they do. Yep. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I personally am neutral to it because I don't really interact with a lot of them. And the only times I do is when I get pigged about my stuff or me showing up in a video. Like, no joke, I got pigged like six or seven times by my friends each. Oh. Because I ended up, because uh, uh, some Steven did a video on my M60 uh, model. Oh, yeah, and he did. He did kind of do that, yeah. Uh, but uh, when I used to watch them, it was uh, Paradox, Poke, I believe. Okay. Oh, yeah. And Agent John too. At least, oh, at sweet. least Only one of them found Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one was redeemed. <laughs> one, one, one uh, has been born again. For, for... And that man, and that was uh, that's Agent John too, right? <laughs> <laughs> for I those who don't know, sure. in the audience, Paradox Pokey uh, has moved on to being a pastor, I think. So. <laughs> Yeah, he not, only, he not only escaped the cycle of leaving and coming back to PF, but he also became a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, guess that's one way to do it. Yeah, everyone, convert to Christianity. He, he, <laughs> he posts uh, very religious videos now. But he, he still has his old videos up on his channel, so I think that's pretty neat. Oh, that's good. I mean, yeah, you can't exactly destroy art like that. Do you guys think... Yeah, uh, yeah, do you guys also, think... Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Duo. It's also kind of... Like, there is a bit of um, a quote here. Like, it, uh, it's also kind of hard to escape your past as well, yeah. which is why, in general, like, there are things I would say that everyone has done. Everyone's made mistakes. Um, I which... don't personally feel any reason to feel ashamed. Well, some things I feel ashamed of, but you're not going to know about those things. <laughs> um, if you look back on your life and cringe, you are growing as a person. That's yes, true. exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. that's basically it in a short term. So then why am I so short? 
I think the because one that so you cringe. need to talk to in you terms of being short right. is me because right. everyone on staff makes fun of me for being short, even though I'm I the shortest person on staff. Briefly heard you're, uh, about what, that. Where are you? Aren't you like five foot six? Yes. Okay, so you're wait, Tom that's Cruise. not yeah. even that bad. No. <laughs> that's not even that bad. He's an inch shorter than me. I'm five foot seven. Like, how am I taller than like everyone here? I'm like short as. How tall like, are you? Because you're cringe. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're just working down the line of who's cringe. You get cringe, and you get cringe. <laughs> we're all cringe here. We're, we're playing we're Phantom all Forces all as as we're filming legal a podcast adults. in Phantom Forces. Yeah, every single one of us is say, an adult. It's like... We're if, literally in SCP three thousand and eight. If you ever feel like video going anywhere, talking just about look at making us. stuff, yeah, like I mean, you're we're doing, doing very good. Do not work. <laughs> we're having we're having fun. Yeah, I think I think that's what matters. All that matters <laughs> is if you're having smile. fun and you don't get angry at the game. Yeah, correct. And don't kill people. What? What? Yeah. what? Yelling is wrong. Don't commit murder. That's bad. <laughs> this has been don't commit of murder. wisdom. All right, all right. Do you? Do However, you, it's still funny sometimes. Do sometimes. you, Darkman and Duo, yeah, like have this. any anything to say about the content creation sphere, um, or do you just not interact with it? I do watch some videos if they interest me by the title or the content from it, but it's usually more on the casual side that interests me the most, like Sub Steven, Moon FPS, or what used hmm. to be Billy Curve. God. But sometimes, well, well you gotta know Cali, what right? the metas are, what you have to expect, and that's where Strider and Oscar come in. Ah, mm. uh, yeah. And as for recently, the goofy stuff, well, you country. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, everyone knows that <laughs> we've talked about this a lot. Country is a fresh a breath of fresh air. For, for this Don't. <laughs> <laughs> he's bad with compliments. Don't worry, kill guys. Yeah. He's kill him. He's a fantastic man who is learning the best of things. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Reek was ready. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> as soon as I fired there was, that shot, there was zero I was hesitation. Dead. Yeah, no. Country actually <laughs> no! makes content. I'm content. Part. It, it's pretty cool. No, you will keep it. No, I'm cutting it. I'm not. It's gonna seem like pay, I paid you guys to talk about me. Back to back podcast. I'm cutting it. There. What about this you, Duo? Disclaimer: We are doing <laughs> oh this my, for free. Okay. Do not. Yeah. We are oh, doing too far. I was promised right. pizza. Are you guys? Are you guys ready to wrap this up soon? Because this is my last question. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Oh God, it's like are you sure? Are you sure? AM. It's been, uh, yeah, we've been we've been recording for a while, huh? It's, gonna be, <laughs> it's been almost four like hours. It's been right. amazing. Here's something. What is one thing that you guys would want from the community, from the people side of thing? Ooh. A compliment. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, no. um, we love you, Victor. Don't, don't worry. I think your M60 looks thing. amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, in all, I think your airsoft gun collection is cool. Do you want it more is a pizza cool collection? Right? Most of it I got. Most of it I got secondhand. It's kind of neat. Sweet discounts. Yeah, like I made. Like I'll probably send a picture of my airsoft M4 here, but like I got that and it did not look anything like that. Okay. And I had to buy all the parts myself. Airsoft it was parts beautiful. are so fun. Can't they wait are. for the fucking blooper reel of this goddamn. Oh, no. See, the thing is, there's gonna be like five or ten minutes of bloopers, and there's just gonna be forty-five minutes of stuff. I'm just gonna cut. <laughs> no, I think there's gonna and, be forty-five and, and minutes of bloopers. Doing, I mean, we're gonna do shit after, right? Probably. Well, it's probably gonna yeah. break into everybody dying as soon as we say, "All right, that's good." <laughs> I'm gonna get blasted in the back of the head, and Bree's gonna either, if I don't kill someone, he's gonna blast me in the face. Keita's gonna die with someone's hand. I I've surprisingly I not done that now. many times. <laughs> You've been just staring at his face the entire time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, if I could get anything from the community, anything at all, I'd probably have to say, um, actually, I don't really have anything that I need from the community because I get most of my stuff from being a Christian furry guy. So uh, I just kind of get a bunch of stuff that way. 
I know, really weird. That is such a strange combination. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? It very much is a strange combination, but not that many people notice it, because I don't make it a big part of my life. I Wait, just kind of mention it offhand. Yeah. He's a Christian friend, I'm a Pikachu. None of this makes any sense. Well, you're a what? A what? Yeah. But anyway, for at, I don't really have anything I need from the community, but I would provide some advice. Um, use the guns that you love. Use the guns that you grew up playing with. Have fun with them. If you feel like they need to be changed, bring it up. Start up a suggestions thread. Yeah. Help us understand why why the gun you love needs to be modified in some way, shape, or form. If it needs a remodel, let me know. I might I might try to model it. I don't know. I have a small <laughs> list. <laughs> and then and then I will very, and then very I will small, look huh? at and, and then I will look and at And then he will yell at me for the com- stuff I make. <laughs> Yeah, and then I will look at said suggestion and then comment on why I do or do not like said suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, to make you feel bad about yourself. <laughs> what about what about you, Bree? Is there something you want from the from the community? Ah, uh, please use something else. I'm like, there are nearly two hundred guns in the game. Have some spies in your life. Get, get, get like a hundred gills or not something else or something <laughs> there are so many guns you'll find a, another one that maybe you'll love like i used burn to the carbine kit on the rex yeah. yes just Use burn the, the carbine kit on the rex please another thing Tyron. <laughs> just because i am doing balancing doesn't mean everything is guaranteed what i say to make it because everything still has to be reviewed by sid and leo so don't rely on me if you want the if you want the C7 to do a lot more damage or something, they still have no, to review no. it. They may decline it. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. no, no. Right, just an no. example. Right, right. Don't, protect, don't yeah. need protect to have no. metas. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I think I think the don't only play by the meta is really is really yeah. nice. I've wait. looking at you, AUGA2 users. <laughs> oh God, that I yeah. It was never Augie impressive. Users. Just so you know, people, you only used it because content creators told you to. You're a sheep. The people who still use the vector with remove stock and uh, your <laughs> lasers and uh, you, you know who you are, okay? You guys call them you cringe. Are. You're cringe. <laughs> you go to bed sad. I hope your pillow is warm. Sight. Oh my gosh, okay. man! If my pillow wasn't warm at night, I would, I would be so Where sad. Are we talking about Wait, this? You want a warm pillow? <laughs> No, sorry, uh, sorry. Every time I go to bed, my pillow is warm because the ADHD is freaking... really kicking in, huh? What? <laughs> no, tell me, tell me more it about really your pillow. Is, yeah. Tell me more about your pillow. It's a nice bamboo charcoal pillow. All right, Dio. What do you want it. from the community? <laughs> okay, so so these Drug. two are, so these two have given theirs. I'm gonna give an do actual you want a answer. cool pillow. Um, yes. I think the do one thing that I want pillow? from this community is I want more people making worthwhile contributions to the game like more people wanting to make guns get engaged in that aspect more people wanting to make melees more people wanting to make attachments more people wanting to make maps i know that we didn't really touch a lot on maps in this episode and that's kind of like the distribution of discussion in this episode is kind of an indication of where the priorities are at right now maps are currently dormant right now Mm. I sad. know that I am not the future of this game and that I can't, you know, help forever. And I think everyone else knows at the same time that they will at some point have to move on. And so that's why I say that the hand that the fu- the future of this game is in the hands of the young and the eager. So please, so- if you if you have interests in wanting to help out the game, whether it's through modeling or, you know, making a map, please like. Hit me up in DMs, hit Shay up in DMs, hit Dev, any of us. We are more than happy. Just hit me. We need we need hit more you contributors. Or hit you up. Yes. All right, cool. You heard it there. <laughs> we we need more contributors. All right. If you have any idea. Oh my god. You told oh me to god. hit you. <laughs> you said to I didn't say I wouldn't retaliate. You told me to hit you. It was consent. God, this episode's There chaotic. was consent. However, you did not receive consent for getting shot in the face. Do we have a guild Truth counter buddy, on the game? Break from the start. <laughs> well, I'm just going to open this. A, 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 a shoot counter? Yeah, you're going to need to count the amount of 
That's... Shoot counter? Yeah, oh yeah, service. another yep. thing. Right. Um, make sure to find photos for the FALO for for Bree. Oh. Yes. No. Yes. No. What? Yes. But it's a it's a light machine gun version of the FAL. Ooh. It's kind of oh. neat. It yes. Has like a forty round mag. Well, that is just barely cresting the line of light machine gun now, isn't it? <laughs> it kind of is. It's kind of like a light squad automatic weapon or whatever the word is. Mm. Whatever the L eighty six is. Back on topic, by the way. I'm I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Look, it's retention but... beats, Kita. Okay, <laughs> we don't have subway surfers playing. We gotta keep them interested somehow. I oh I, I really wanted to get that out. We need we need more contributors. If you have anything worthwhile, if you have like a model, if you have an idea or suggestions, yeah, there's you a sound suggestion. Like one of those CPA ads. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's you. a suggestion channel. Make we, stuff for the game, man. We need man. you to it's donate me. right now. These starving developers need contributors. Ooh, lawnmowers. What? The uh, sorry, I spawned in the back room. The go-karts. He, he spawned oh. over at the go-karts. They're lawnmower go-karts. But yeah. Um, They're actually super neat. I recommend taking, like, taking a look at some videos. Anyway. Yeah, as, as I was saying, just please, D DM, like, talk, talk to someone if you have anything. Because that's going to... That's you're the future of the game, like like Duo said. Um, a lot of the content in this game is co community generated, and if you have something that you would like to be added to the game, would like to be changed, or want to work on something that's already in the game, just come forward with it, and I'm sure someone's gonna make space for you someday. Yeah, <laughs> like suggestions channel, like make a thread. You know, if you have a model or something like that, you know, feel free to contact me and I will take a look at it and I'll pass it to Shay. Um, you know, like, that's really all there is to it. It's, it's not hard, people. Don't be scared. <laughs> you have to socialize sometimes. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. Let's not patronize yes. now. <laughs> you don't have to just leave comments on things. You can talk to people. That's, Make that's, stuff. That's, it's funny. Buy it's funny stuff. because Repeat. it's funny because that's actually a joke we have in support where you know where our joke is. Hello, how can I patronize you today? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are amazing. By the way, I just want to say that, like for the Thank record, you. you guys are all three of you have made insane contribution to this game. Um, without you guys, I think a lot of people would be having a lot less fun with the game overall. Um, just the goofy melees, the gun remodels, especially, uh, God, Victor's, dare I down. say, the, the immense iron. <laughs> yes, of course. The carbine the battle for the that, that was made as a meme, and I'm very happy to make, <laughs> to, that it was accepted. Yeah. Um, just goofy stuff in general. Y'all, y'all are amazing for that. And duo for your contribution to the community and uh, with helping with communication between the community and the developers. I think your, your, your contribution is amazing, especially for looking through all those suggestions. I, that, that's probably a, a pretty tedious thing. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing we <laughs> forgot to gloss on. Like, I, I have permissions in suggestions as well, so I, I look over those as well. Mm. Yeah. Duo's always, he's always watching, guys. <laughs> the, the funny the sad thing is is that that's actually a true statement <laughs> I am, I Nat makes his comment all the time Nat makes his comment saying all the time I'm in your walls no I'm in your walls <laughs> I still have I to make a follow suggestion so uh AK-51 shut up <laughs> look it's cool we've got through this buddy it's, you have to let go you have to let go okay it's okay you gotta let go let me let me stroke your face with the with the most. Oh. <laughs> that was. Why are you not on my team anymore? Trail. <laughs> friendly Show fire your coming. Contributors. Friendly fire coming to Phantom Forces soon. <laughs> oh my God. We're taking him over. He's becoming a contributor. <laughs> oh, no.
he's slowly losing his mind. What a bust. What a bust. I make websites, not models. I don't know what I'm doing. (laughs) Do you guys actually... Neither do we. Do you guys have any recommendation, actually, for anyone we could have for the next episode of the podcast? Not not that we already have people booked, but for the next, next? (laughs) Um, Lith, Lithium, Robotic. Map makers. Um, Pudros. Map makers? Yeah. Yeah, you can talk about them. Yeah, maps might be something. Yeah, a more map centered thing. If possible, good. if possible, maybe the main desk, but that's probably going to be hard. Oh, no. I, yeah, I think we're not. We have to get some Steven. We have to get some Steven on board first. Look, look, look. I'm going to ask. You need that as the grand finale. See. Also, I would be more than happy to come back in again at some point. I would okay. as well. Yeah, I mean, say, especially say. to talk about like support if that's yeah. you know. Yeah, I we haven't touched support that much. I know it's like one of your main roles. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it, um, it was more yeah. of a of a contributor asset theme. Yeah, because uh, we did kind episode. of a more yeah. staff heavy thing last episode. I think it was more fitting. Yeah, it, it's based. kind of funny that because I I watched the last one and you know you mentioned. That you know, you sidelined me in that one. <laughs> yeah, um, he did mention so, that yeah. because <laughs> so I wouldn't be talking as much. And then Vanguard never touched on support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, Vanguard. Vanguard. You had two jobs. Yeah, I think, I think, um, just opens up the opportunity for you to come back for support. What's a what's a little teaser for the next episode, country? Who who are you having on? The list. The. You said a little teaser. Uh, yeah. The list. The list. On, me, the list. The switch. list. The. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. Oh, do no, it. No, 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 no. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Do, I'll it. do it. Do it. Do it. I can do it. And him. Okay. Ow. Whoa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Why did I fly in that direction? All right. Well, no, I'm running oh, back. No, they're man. gonna have to run all the way back. <laughs> oh wait, he. Oh my God. He got both. Oh, I found. How much of your favorite Where guests has been oh, so far are. in what the comments section team? below? Eric, I switched him. You can spawn. That's my long. <laughs> Yay! Oh, crap! Oh, look, a big gun. I'm sorry. I I spent. No! I, I just got back! Up. No! Why does it always devolve into this? <laughs> we are violent. Y'all, okay, y'all weren't there for the last episode. It was exactly <laughs> like this. <laughs> like, this is how it ended last yeah. time. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. Every, wait, hey, everyone's would... dead. <laughs> We're gonna get back there first, Keita, come on. I can't get out of the backwards. I know. Fortunately, since I made this map, I know this. You go on back. Train. Kite me. Yeah, look, jokes on you, Mori. You there? Wait, what? I got, I got stuck in the back rooms. <laughs> As right, you that, do. That, that, that's I'm, I'm stuck right? in a building. Ooh, Why does this gun shoot so slow? Because it's big. We have weak little FBI wrists. What gun? The auto, the auto mag. Oh. oh. Uh, because recoil. Yeah, fun fact, the uh, the reason the FBI uses Glocks instead of USPs is because they had weak little baby wrists, so they didn't want to use 45. How about... Which is funny, because they also want 10mm auto to be made. They made 10mm auto, I know. Too, and then 40 Smith & Wesson the happened. To... Yeah, the FBI wanted a better uh, caliber, and so that was better than 9mm, so they made 10mm auto. And then, and then, 10 and then the police had squad a baby with fetal alcohol syndrome. And that's duo, I lesson. just had a super fucking good idea. I had that. You know, anyway, the uh, pressure uh, attack uh, the ass yeah. vial. Forty Smith and Wesson was made by the for the police because the police wanted to be cool like that, but they're oh, weak. But the police were too weak. Wait, did and, you switch uh, then we got Forty Smith and Wesson, yeah, and then it did. turns out that the ballistics of a modern nine millimeter is the exact same as a modern Forty Smith and Wesson. Yeah. And then you get more recoil from you the forty. You forget. I, you forget. I have team switch first. Yeah. Duo, duo, duo. I got a yeah, super good idea. Yeah, okay. Not, I, actually, any, sport, any, sport any contributors West. here? Okay, guys, guys. Neither am I. So you know the suppressor attachment for the Asval, right? Yes. Yes. How about you make an attachment for the MP510 where it just cuts the gun in half? What? For the MP5/10? I mean... Why? Yeah, because it's five tenths. It's just one half. Oh, oh, that's really good. 
Hey. Cut off half the barrel. Cut MP5 <laughs> remodel family. Yeah. That will happen after my list. Remove, <laughs> remove the stock and remove like half the barrel. Man, if I if I could actually redo the entire MP5 family, I think I'd probably die happy. Because like you could do the, the entire G3 family at the same time too. Not yeah. quite. They're different, they different sizes. Same, yeah. same same recoil mitigation system, and same overall idea, but different. Completely different calibers. Different gas yeah, stroke sizes. It's. It's a long and arduous process, and my gun uh, autism will uh, get too far into this. That's pretty well said. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, uh, is that it? Bing bong. I don't know. Uh, I'm just waiting for I you mean... to end up saying yes. Yeah, so is that it? it was about three times that we actually just end up killing each other, and I just cut it. <laughs> yeah, I think. Oh my god. I think. I think see, that's see, gonna see be how it. it goes. Don't yeah. do it. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for being on the podcast today. Yeah. It was. It was so so much fun. All, all of you. I'm so glad and I didn't have to edit all this on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the 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 original plan was kind of last minute. I'm, yeah. I'm glad we could I, do it today. We've been for what, like over three hours now. We've been yes. in here for three hours. Two, oh, yeah, over three Jesus. hours. Jesus. We've been. But we've had a good time. Five... Yeah, okay. it's been a blast. Yeah, it's been it felt three like hours, time flies. Minutes, guys. So we've been through the roughly. Is, Five or six day night cycles in Holy this the map. Oh yeah, yeah I noticed the minutes. map. I noticed the map Beautiful. getting darker several times. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit through this recording for over three hours minimum. I'm sorry, country. We have three hours and five minutes of recording, and we've been in the lobby. I, and we thought that, and we thought that it wasn't going to top the last episode's last. I don't, I don't know how no. much of this is gonna end up in the final, like just straight podcast. Dude, time. I told you. Last time the was two hours kid. thirty minutes. Today's oh, gonna be three hours. Like... I told you. I'm the episode right is gonna last like twenty four hours. We're gonna beat Joe Rogan's podcast record. No, you can't beat Joe Rogan. You can't beat. Actually, I'm not. Gonna what do I not eat enough elk meat, Kita? Is that no, it? no? I'm no. I'm just not Quit gonna game. say that. I'm dude. I would get canceled so fast. Same. <laughs> Ow. <laughs>
Oh, the sass, well, yes, sass, 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 sass. We need a Russian roulette attachment for the Rex. That would be... F that... <laughs> I don't think Roblox would I, allow that. Wait, I got my melee, I got my sass. I'm ready. I'm on your me. team now. All right, this time you're forced to have one shot. One yeah. sec. I didn't. I didn't understand it earlier. <laughs> Country, okay. you should have told him to get the GB22. Come on. No. Die. Hello. Okay, right, I'm ready. ready. That's fast. Don't worry. Walk. Go. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> The Noob Slayer wins that every day. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> noob, noob Slayer is actually like such a fucking good melee. It's disgusting. That's beautiful. It comes right, out so fast. And it's, it's, like, it's almost uh, a duel me now. Not... You, oh. Kita. You're going to duel me. And then we start this. Nice shot. I... <laughs> nice. Sure, right, I... pick up that sass. You know, at this point, let's just, Bree, uh, give him let's your just let Duo take the right. dog out, and then we'll start after. Right, you're well, you'd be waiting bro, an extra 30 minutes. Bro, oh. You have this side. Remember, on. rigid schedule. You said yeah. it's at six, right? He's got, yeah, I was he's actually 6 30. Oh, okay. I don't know, yeah, I don't seven. usually, I'm not usually the one responsible for taking care of my dog. Usually, my parents do that. It ain't uh, much, but oh, okay, dude, I have the house I, to myself, and I'm my moderator on Twitch for... loves the OKP7, and I just don't get it. The the magnification it's on it is so It's a good optic so on low. certain guns. I love it as well. I like it. It's so clear. Yeah, it's it's really easy great. to use. I right. I, I would picture, I would unironically just... prefer using FD three hundred iron sights over that. This. Is a that is a terrible opinion, and you should feel sad about that. I mean, at least I have two. I zoom will. I after this, I will duel you FD three hundred default sight. Sure. That's that's <laughs> not a threat. <laughs> that is a good ready. time. All right, ready. Walk. Yep. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> they didn't even have time to turn around. He just got <laughs> executed. <laughs> that was a body shot, though. That, that was that was a body shot, though. It wasn't a headshot. That was amazing. Uh, that's that's what happens uh, when you when you good. duel the the FD three FD three hundred guy. That was... He just flakes you Dude. to death. All right, All right I'm Let me get my. You already dead. You won. Attachments reset. You're already guilty. Thank you. Ow. Why am I the one that always dies? <laughs> Look at my death count! <laughs> You're fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. You ready? Okay. Walk. Go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm... Uh, fucking... What's it called? Diving is stupid for snipers. So it makes your it makes your gun perfectly accurate. Yeah, I got my next melee if I'm gonna duel again. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and change weapons here. Does it actually look like gold when it's on the ground? All right. One oh yeah, it looks actually really great as a war as a three P model. One shot, then you stab. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Ready? Yes. Yep. Walk. Go. They both. I still you have my shot, shot Vic. Yeah, I still have my <laughs> shot. Vic. Get him, boy! You didn't get him. You're you're one shot melee, huh? You'll never get out of here. I have the fixer. I have to go oh, away. That's the trick. You. Ah. <laughs> 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 I don't have my binds correct. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, I got it. Yeah. Now, come no. set! 38! <laughs> Alright. Got him. It's 360 to 2. Holy. Golden Fixer. I spent 300,000 credits to get it, but it was well worth every penny. Because I wanted it. Because he want, oh, it was well, his. There we go. Uh, I even I need... broke the Belgian laws to get it. I used a <laughs> VPN. Damn, oh. Welcome back to the Jared from Subway podcast. This looks like one of those cursed, like Soviet Soviet gangster images. Everybody just staring <laughs> blankly at the. F Everyone holding various weapons. Do you want to go and throw crunch I bars? Where the no, you're the host. Right. <laughs> Put down your crunch bars and prioritize what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's such a good idea. Let me go get a peanut butter. No, bar. don't go. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs>
Welcome back to the Back Map Podcast. Today on episode three, I have with me uh, support staff. In- I f***ed it up already. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> also, isn't it hey. Vic, Bree, and Duo? Yes. And I messed it up already. <laughs> I can support right. staff. Contributor, contributor, contributor support staff. 